Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome to my Scroll Saw Workshop. Please visit my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. In tonight's video, I want to do a review of an application that one of my readers uh, turned me on to, oh, I don't know, it's probably been four or five weeks ago. And uh, what it does is it solves the problem that I know many of you have, and I had as well, and that is uh, some way to catalog all the patterns that we accumulate uh, off of the web in either PDF format, uh, like all mine are, or sometimes in just uh, graphic images. And uh, when you go to browse all those uh, patterns, and it can be sometimes in the hundreds, um, it's difficult always to know exactly what that pattern is by the name alone. Uh, so... Um, a gentleman by the name of Robert Briggs up in Canada had uh, written a program that allows you to um, take each of those patterns, the individual files, and select an image out of those patterns to use to uh, catalog that particular pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and bring uh, the uh, program up here. It's called File Pick, and just give you a quick example of what it does. Uh, you can see that over here on the left, I have a list of the patterns that I've added to the catalog, and I've just got started uh, adding the patterns myself, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But as you scroll down through these different patterns, you can see that over on the right, I have a picture of what that particular finished pattern will look like, and that's very handy. And if you double click on the picture it will bring up uh, the Adobe Reader or whichever program is required to show that image uh, onto the screen and you can go ahead and print the pattern now. Now the problem with a lot of PDF files is the first page doesn't necessarily show you uh, what the pattern is. In this case uh, I have my title page on the first page and you actually have to scroll down to the second page to see the pattern. So you can see that it's really handy to be able to pick which page you want to view as you're looking at these uh, different uh, uh, patterns. So I'm going to go ahead and show you just real quick now how to uh, add a pattern uh, to the catalog and it's very simple. You just over here in your uh, file pick you can right click and click on the new entry cat, uh, tab and as you scroll over you can pick the next pattern and the next pattern that I want to add is called Army Retired. I can go ahead and click uh, Army Retired and it will bring up the default image over here on the right which obviously we don't want. So now all I have to do is right click and it tells you right here what to do and this dialog will come up to allow us to open that particular file and this is the file, the Army Retired file. I can go ahead and use my navigation tools in Adobe Reader to move to the next page of the file, which is the, the image that we want to use. The file uh, pick software brings up this little dialog that has the Begin button. I click on Begin. The crosshairs come up. I go up here and put a rectangle around the image I want to use for the catalog. Uh, the file pick dialog will come up again. I hit Copy and that will bring us back to our program with the clipboard image here. All I have to do at that point is click Save and now that image is saved along with the title in this catalog. So now there's the Army Retired. I can scroll back up through the different patterns I have and just continue to add as many patterns as you like selecting whatever image you want and it just makes it uh, very uh, handy to be able to scroll down through these and find a particular pattern that you're looking for without having to actually read all the names. You can just scroll down through them. Of course you can use the names to give you an idea of what you want. Uh, you can also, if I remember right, you can change the uh, title you have over here instead of the caption. I believe if we do new entry and go to the next one which will be the uh, Automata PDF. Uh, I think it would have given me the option to change the name. Let me click rename here and at this point I can rename this file to anything I want. Come over here and click on the image, open the file. Again I can scroll to the second page, click begin, highlight, click copy, and I can close these PDFs down as I go to make the screen a little more clear. Uh, click Save. The picture is added to the Automata. And I can just keep going down through my collection of PDFs and images 
through all of my different uh, patterns until I get everything cataloged. So I think this is a pretty handy program. Um, it's a little bit of a steep price, uh, but for what it does, uh, it may be worth it to you. Let me take you over to the developer's uh, website, and uh, I will put the URL in the post so you can find it. But uh, this is his website and uh, where you can go uh, download the program. And as you look down through here, you can see the different uses that he shows for it in all these screen images uh, of different patterns that you can catalog. Uh, you can basically uh, open any type file from this, and it will use the Windows default viewer, or depending on what type of file it is, it will use the association to start that file. Uh, his wife uh, was into, uh, I think this is called tatting. Uh, I'm not much familiar with this, but anyway, that's, I think, how he decided to design this pattern. It is for Microsoft Windows, XP, or Vista. Uh, the, the price is uh, $39.95 Canadian dollars, so it's a little less than that U.S. dollars. I think it's like $36.50. There are some fees and uh, taxes associated with it, so the price is a little higher. You just simply come down here and select the one you want, and if you're in the U.S., you'd click the international one. Click order here, and that will take you to the... Uh, the page that allows you to purchase the uh, program. And uh, after you purchase it and your order uh, is confirmed, he will email you the program or the, ins the installer for the program and uh, the uh, different uh, passwords that are required to set it up. So, uh, so far I've had uh, pretty good luck with it. No, no problems to speak of. There are maybe a few things that I would like to see added to it. Uh, one of the things I would like to see is multiple pictures. Instead of just having one picture over here, be able to make this particular uh, program full screen and have a series of thumbnails over here to look at that I could resize. So that would be handy. But uh, uh, as it is, you get one image per file, and it seems to work out pretty good. So if you're interested in this program, uh, you can click on the link in the blog post. And again, you can find my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.com. Dot blogspot.com. I uh, hope this comes in handy for you, and we'll see you next time here at the Scroll Saw Workshop.